Are you in need of a meeting agenda template in Word? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step exactly how to create a meeting agenda that you can use, leverage and depend on for every meeting that you have going forward. Now, this is the template that I have used in my corporate career for over 10 years. Now, before I show you exactly what you need to do, I have made this pre-built pre-formatted template available for instant download. There will be a link in the description down below if you did want to pick that up. It will save you a lot of time. It will be less than the price of a cup of coffee and it does also help support me and my channel. So it would be appreciated. Nevertheless, let me now show you exactly what you need to do if you did want to create this yourself. So the first thing that I recommend that you do is give the document a title or a heading area. So what we're going to do here is click on insert that option on the ribbon here. We are then going to go over to header and we are going to select banded. Now you could use any one of these depending on your particular preferences or perhaps even organizations branding style. But I want to click banded for now. Double left click in here and I'm going to call this meeting agenda. At which point I'm going to click shape format and then again choose a color that meets your preferences or organization. I'm going to click on colored fill gray accent with no outline. I'm then going to double click in here. I'm going to bold that. Now we can also put a shape outline. So I'm going to look for a contrasting color. So I'm going to put black here just to give it a border. And you can also add a shape effect. Now there's loads in here that can look really good. Um, something like this as an example can look really really good just to distinguish the header from the rest of the document and look a little bit more professional. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a series of tables. In doing that we can save ourselves a lot of time and also keep some uniform formatting throughout the document. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on insert table and the first table we're going to create is a two by two. Now, what I would suggest you do is put in day and date and location. Some really important data points to capture for each meeting. I'm going to bold that. So I've selected all of that and press Control B on my keyboard. I am using a Windows. It might be slightly different for you if you're on a Mac. Now, what I'm going to do is select both of these, click on Home, and I'm going to put this gray fill. The next thing I'm going to do is click on Table Design. No, I'm not, sorry, Table Layout. And I'm going to select this, align center left. So in alignment, I'm just going to make them appear in the center, but also on the left hand side. That's our first table. Actually, one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the font size to 12. Now, what you can do if you hover over, you see this, if you hover over the table, you should see this little icon. Left click on that, control C, click in here, then press enter on your keyboard and control V at which point we're going to enter the, the information for the next table. So here we can specify the meeting title and here we can specify the meeting subject. When I say here, what I'm talking about is you'd be putting it in here. So something like um, the 10th of September 2024, just, just as an example. These are the content areas you'd be documenting. Okay. Now you can also, what you can also do if you wanted to, is you could select this, go on table, uh, table layout, and you could start doing things like this. So you could middle align if you wanted to. You've got all of these options to, you know, depending on your needs or how you like it to look. So we've got those two here. The next thing I'm gonna suggest that you do is click, uh, click underneath the second table, left click, then press enter. Now we're gonna go insert table and we're going to do a four by two. This time we're going to type in meeting created by. So who's responsible for getting the meeting organized? Facilitator. Now, these are all recommendations and data points that you that would be handy to collect. You may not need all of these. So for instance, timekeeper, you may not have a timekeeper or it could be the same person as who created the meeting, who's facilitating it, who's taking the minutes as an example. So don't worry too much about that if you don't need it. I'm going to, what I'm then going to do is select this, click on format painter, and I'm going to left click and it applies all of that 
formatting so I don't have to do it ourselves again. I just need to put that gray border in, okay? Or fill. Hopefully that makes sense. I'll show you it again in, in due course. So we've got that table. Now, the next table I'd recommend that you do is basically about the attendees. So if we click insert, table, do a two by 10. Now you can always right click in here at any time and click insert, insert rows below. Let's just say you need a new attendee. You can also delete these if you don't need them. So you can select all of it. You could delete the row if you wanted to, if you didn't have that many attendees. So the first, the first thing I'm going to do is type in attendees requested. So who was requested to come to the meeting? Also, it's important to document who actually turned up, the attendees who joined. So let me show you how to apply the formatting from the previous table. Again, left click. Just bring it all the way across. Just select all of that. In the home ribbon, left click on Format Painter, then left click where you want to apply the formatting. So as you can see, it's done that again. All I need to do is put the gray shading in. Again, you, remember, I'm using gray, but you could use a different color scheme if that worked best for you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leverage this table. So left click here, Control C, one space there with Enter. So I clicked in here underneath that table, pressed enter, control V. Now here we can type in all of the different agenda items. So here are all the different agenda topics. So here would be agenda item description. So this will typically be, um, you know, a couple of sentences. Here we're gonna change this to presenter. Who is presenting this particular agenda item? I spelt presenter wrong. I spelt it as it sounded, not how it's actually spelt. Start time and duration. So as an example, let's just say the meeting kicked off at 11 o'clock. This would be 11 o'clock, the duration five minutes. Then the next agenda item description would kick off at 11.05. You get the idea. Now what we can actually, we'll go, I'll change the formatting of the individual tables in due course. We've got one more thing that I recommend that you add. I'm actually gonna right click in here, click on insert rows below, right click, insert rows, oh, above or below, right click, insert rows below, or you can actually go insert, and there's another way of doing this. Uh, you can do that, sorry. Insert below, there you go. So I've just created loads very, very quickly because I'd selected quite a few. You see how that works. Hopefully right click, insert is gonna create loads again because I selected a lot. We don't need all those. I just wanted to show you how that works. So left click here, delete. Oh, I just don't want all those. Let's delete this. Oh, sorry. Select all of these, right click. Let's do delete cells. Okay, don't, didn't want all of them in there. You get the idea. Then what we're gonna do here is we're going to just copy. No, we're not. We're gonna go insert table. We're gonna do one by eight, and we're just gonna call this notes, because you're gonna want somewhere to put additional notes. Select all of this, home, bold, put that gray formatting on. Actually, what I should have done there, is selected that, format painter, and that, because it's gonna put that alignment in as well. So we've got an area for our notes. Now, all that's really left to do, this looks great, but what you might want to do, as an example, is you may want this to come across. So what I did there, is I hovered over that column, You'll see that little icon there, and I've left clicked. And the reason why I'm doing that, there's several reasons, but the reason why I'm doing it is this is likely going to be, there's a lot more text in here than the other columns. And the duration column, as an example, isn't gonna be very big either. So what we can do is just give that more content area. And it also suggests to whoever's filling this out that this is where more content is required. So that is essentially how to create a meeting agenda and have all of the elements you're going to want to track, at which point you're just filling out these. You're going to save this on your, on you know, somewhere locally or maybe even on an internal hub site. Call this template and then you can create a copy of this um, every time you create a new meeting agenda and just use it from here. So I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. And with that said, best of luck over to you. And I hope you have an excellent day and some really good meetings going forward.